Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, install and set up MongoDB on your Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for MongoDB. And the first link which will appear here will be from mongodb.com. So we are going to click on this link here. And once we are on the home page of mongodb.com, here we are going to click on the products tab. So just click on this products menu and then select community edition here. So I'm going to click on community edition. And once you are on the MongoDB community edition page, just scroll down a little where you will see download community. So just click on download community button here and then just scroll down a little where you will see MongoDB community edition. And first of all, we want to uh, set up the community server for MongoDB. So just select uh, MongoDB community server and on the right hand side, you will see the download instruction for different operating systems. So when you scroll down a little, you can see at the time of making this video, 8.0.4 is the latest version. And you can select the platform here. We are on the Windows x64. So it's automatically selected and the package will be MSI package. So just select all these options and then click on download button which is going to start the download of this MongoDB Windows x86 MSI files. And once this MSI file is downloaded, we are going to click on this MSI file and let me minimize my browser. And we can see this MongoDB 8 setup window. We are going to click on next here. And on the next page, you can see end user license agreement. And if you agree with the license terms and conditions, click on I accept checkbox and then click on next and now you can see choose the setup type so there are two setup types here you can see all program features will be installed requires the most disk space and other one is custom one where you can choose which uh, tools you want to install also it says the mongodb shell must be installed separately for Windows installations. So this installs MongoDB server, but there is a tool called MongoDB shell, which is a client interface to interact with your MongoDB database, and it has to be installed separately. And for that, you need to click on this download button, which is going to redirect you to the download location from where you can install the MongoDB shell. And this MongoDB shell is on the same page from where we have downloaded the MSI file for the MongoDB server. So from here we have downloaded this MSI file and when you scroll down a little, you will see tools option here. And under tools option, you will be able to see this MongoDB shell option. So when you click on MongoDB shell, you will be able to see the version of MongoDB shell and you have the package type. So you can download the zip file or the MSI file. We are going to uh, download and install this uh, MongoDB shell a little bit later. For now, let's go ahead with this MongoDB installation. So I'm going to choose the complete version here. So let me click on complete here. And then on the service configuration page, you have all these options. So install MongoDB as a service. So MongoDB will be installed as a service on your Windows operating system. That means that uh, whenever you start your Windows operating system, this service is going to start automatically and it's going to run the MongoDB server. So you don't need to do anything from your side. Everything will be taken care automatically by this service. The service name will be MongoDB. And then you have the locations for the data directories and the log directories. In the data directory, MongoDB saves the database data. So when you create a database and insert some data, this data will be saved in this data directory on this location. If you want to see some logs related to MongoDB, for example, MongoDB server is getting some errors or some problems, you can go to this location and view the logs what can be the problem in MongoDB. In these logs, all the details are present, right? 
So I'm going to leave everything as default here and then click on next. And then you have this option. So it says install MongoDB Compass. So MongoDB Compass is the official graphical user interface for the MongoDB. That means it's going to provide the graphical user interface to interact with your MongoDB server. It's similar to MongoDB shell, but it's not command line. It's a graphical user interface. So I generally also install MongoDB Compass, which is the part of this installation. So if this checkbox is not checked, just check this checkbox, which is also going to install the MongoDB Compass client. Click on next here. And then you have this uh, window which says ready to install MongoDB. I'm going to click on install here, which is going to give me this kind of warning, which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I'm going to click on yes here. And this is going to start the installation of MongoDB, including MongoDB Compass on my Windows operating system. So at this point, I just need to wait for a few seconds until this uh, process reaches to the end. So I can see that MongoDB Compass has been installed on my Windows operating system and also the MongoDB server setup has been finished. So at this point, you can see completed the MongoDB 8 setup wizard. At this point, I can click on the finish button and straight away I can see that MongoDB Compass has been started and I can also see MongoDB Compass uh, icon has been created on my desktop. Also, when I click on the Windows icon and then when I click on All Apps section, under M, I can see this MongoDB Compass icon. And as I mentioned, MongoDB Server is installed as a service on your Windows operating system. So once MongoDB Compass starts, you're going to uh, see this kind of uh, welcome window. Here you can click on Start and this is how the MongoDB Compass, which is a client uh, user interface for MongoDB server looks like. So here you can create a new connection. So click on add new connection. And by default, MongoDB runs on local host. And this is the default port of MongoDB, which is 27017. And generally you use the connection string to connect to your MongoDB server. So this is how this connection string looks like. So you don't need to change anything here. Just leave it as default. And then you have more advanced option here. But for now, for our local MongoDB setup, we don't need anything more than this connection string. So leave it as default and then click on save and connect, which is going to connect to your MongoDB server. And it's going to show you all the details about the MongoDB server. So these three are the default databases present in your MongoDB. Now to create a new database, you can click on this plus icon here, and then you can give the name to your database. For example, I will create a my DB database here, right? And then whenever you create a database, you need to create a collection inside your database. Otherwise, uh, MongoDB database is of no use without a collection. So that's why this interface gives you the opportunity to create the database as well as the collection. So for now, I'm going to create a collection called orders. Now, if you are coming from the relational database paradigm, collection is like a table for your database, right? So we have created the orders collection. From MongoDB 5, MongoDB also added the feature of adding the time series collection. For now, I'm not going to create a time series collection. I just want a simple collection. So I'm going to just click on create database, which is going to create my database as well as it's going to create my collections. For now, I don't have any data inside this collection, but I can add the data. So when I click on add data, here, I can either import a JSON or CSV file, which have some data, or I can insert the data manually just to test. So here I can see this ID, which is the default field uh, added to 
every document. So let's say I will add a name here. I'm going to add name uh, as a field and let's say the name is Tom and then I will give comma here. So you add the fields in the JSON kind of format. It's not exactly JSON, but uh, it's similar to JSON kind of format, right? You can also add, let's say status here and let's say the status is shipped once again, comma, and let's say I'm going to add the amount here and the amount will be, let's say hundred. So this is the document which I want to insert. And then uh, this uh, insert is disabled because it has to be a valid JSON, right? So once it is a valid JSON, I can see this insert button is enabled. I'm going to click on insert and this data is inserted, right? So you can see this is how you can insert data into your MongoDB using the MongoDB compass. You also have few querying options. For example, if you want to write an aggregation, you can do it using the aggregation section. You also have the schema section. Also, you can add indexes into your collection using the indexes section and then you have the validate our rules section. So you can add rules and validate those rules. One more cool feature in this MongoDB Compass is that you can open the MongoDB shell inside MongoDB Compass. So it will give you an interface like MongoDB shell. And for that, you can just click on this open MongoDB shell option, which is going to create this kind of interface and it looks like MongoDB shell. And here you can see, you can give uh, similar MongoDB queries similar to MongoDB shell, right? So this query is for finding all the documents inside the orders collection in your database, which is MyDB. So when I press enter, it's going to show me this list, which is the document inside my collection, right? So this is how you can install and set up MongoDB server and MongoDB compass in your Windows operating system. Let me also show you how you can install MongoDB shell separately if you want that. So for that, I have already showed you how you can click on that link and come to this MongoDB shell page. And then when you scroll down a little, this is the latest version. We are doing it for the Windows. So just leave it as default and then let's download the MSI file. So I'm going to select MSI and then click on download here, which is going to start the download of this MSI file. And once this MSI file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this MSI file and let me minimize the browser. And it says, welcome to the MongoDB shell setup wizard. Click on next here. And on this next window, this is the default location. So just leave it as default and then click on next here and then click on install, which is going to start the installation of this MongoDB shell. The installation process is really straightforward. So it will be finished really fast. And then you can see the setup is complete. So click on finish here. And once the MongoDB shell setup is finished, I can open the command prompt. So just type CMD in the search bar and then open the command prompt here and just type Mongo SH here on the terminal and then click on enter key. And now we have uh, connected to the MongoDB server using MongoDB shell. So MongoDB server version is 8.0.4. This is the connection string. Here I can type show DB's command to list out all the databases. So you can see these are the default databases and one database we have created, which is MyDB. To switch to a MyDB, we can use this command, which is use my DB and then semicolon and then press enter. And it says switch to db.mydb. You can also give this command, which is show collections command and then press enter. And it's going to show the collections inside your database, which is orders. And then similar to uh, this command, which is db orders dot find either you can give this kind of command once you are inside your uh, mongodb uh, database or switched to your mongodb database you can give this command or you can type db dot your collection name which is 
orders in my case dot find and then you can just press enter and it's going to show you the documents inside your collection right so you can also give this kind of um, command so this is how you can install mongodb server mongodb compass and mongodb shell on your windows operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video